What's going on everybody, I'm Devin with True Devin Gaming and today we're doing another Bloon Star Defense 6 video. Today I'm here with my brother Sean and we're going to be starting off with a co-op game of Half Cash. Uh, Sean is currently going for one of the achievements, uh, a certain amount of Half Cash games, so we're going to be doing that first. And with that being said, intro's over, so let's unmute Sean. Okay, I'm back, I'll join the call. Uh, join match. It's HCU. I think that's right. Okay, there we go. And since half cash, what do we want to grab? Yeah, probably you. Okay. I don't really have a, a challenge to this other than it's half cash. Half so cash is enough of a challenge. Alright, so you get. Oh, fuck. Oh. What did you do? Whatever. I split. Oh, so you great. You can do whatever you want in this scheme. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's place down a dot monkey so we get more popping power. Yep. And using instant monkey because that's allowed in half cash. And fuck actually doing the challenge for it. Half cash is not a nice one. Let's see, do I go for increased production first or no I'll place on solders first. Oh yeah, Chase, I'll definitely agree. Bottom path for the farm is definitely my favorite of them. Not exactly because it's the best one, but just because it's the most convenient. You don't have to actually pick up the uh, bananas that come from it, just like the middle path. Uh, and it gives you a boost to... Uh, well your lives, a boost to money coming from merchantmen and favorite trades. And now oh, if you go f the final path of it, the, or the uh, tier 5, it can also pick up uh, the bananas from other uh, towers. So a very convenient one in my opinion. Alright, so, uh, Sean, there'll be someone, yeah. uh, in chat, they go by the name of FallGuys underscore 7. Uh, the name on the actual game will be Hamish. Uh, they will probably be joining in a bit to actually see if they can, uh, or wants to join us for the Vortex boss fight. Okay, sounds good. Just so I'd let you know beforehand. Yep. Okay, uh, other thing. Uh, since I finally got over 50 followers, and at the same, uh, in last stream, and at the same time during my uh, last stream, I got my average viewers, uh, per stream, uh, up. Past the threshold, I now have unlocked two new s of the achievements. The Build a Community one, and the Twitch Affiliate one. So once I actually go through all the settings, I can start monetizing uh, my streams if I want. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's nice. Took two and a half months, but 
finally at that point. As far as what the monetization stuff means, I have pretty much no real idea. I know I'm now allowed to have actual subscribers on Twitch. And I also can run ad breaks. That's... I guess that's a thing. Yeah. <sighs> I'm not exactly expecting much from it, just like usual. But... Heck. Hey, it's just... it's nice out on. Oh, uh, and also on the left side, there's a button for charity. Well, I'm guessing I can set up a stream where all of, or half the funds or all the funds go to charity. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah. I feel like the easiest charity to do one for will probably be one with the hurricane relief funds uh, set up in a, a very soon. Yeah. I'm expecting oh. that. Dude. It's just disgusting what's happened down there. Oh, not too bad. Oh, not too bad for me because I'm up here. No. I do have to wonder how the media is going to be covering, uh, well, just Cape Coral in general right now, or in the future, Cape Coral for my that era. Because whenever there was a big hurricane that destroyed a, a town or city, they're like, okay, this, uh, the, the way that they showed it on media is definitely different than what I'm, uh, used to. So I want to see... Uh, if they end up training uh, Cape Coral and Fort Myers the same way. Next level. Like, what's that one? Uh, New Orleans, where it's Hurricane Katrina, I believe it was. Yeah, yeah that would be one of going to be questioning how if they were going to portray it the same way that that was portrayed. Uh, can you say something? Just want to check if the audio is still working. Is it working? It's working, can but you... there's a bit of a robotic sound to it. Yeah, that's... I'm in a hotel. Okay. What's well, good to know that your Ultron virus is working. Yep. Soon we'll convert you. Okay, so is there anything you want to talk about while we're doing this game? Um... Uh... uh first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my Insta monkeys to see, like, just in case, uh... Oh, Jesus. Just in case, like, I don't... I'm not able to use it. it you can, uh, basically give me the money for or whatnot or cash drop towards all right i have all these middle path wall ones i don't know if middle path ones are exactly good for boss uh middle paths what banks not very well yeah they're technically banks for banana farms Oh, they actually are good, but for a very different reason. You go get one of those down, and you also, uh, you also place down one of the monkey villages, and you sacrifice them. The amount a, uh, a village actually produces cash-wise is based off of how much money was spent on, or just how expensive the towers generally are. And some monkeys just help with that mm -hmm. in general, because you don't have to actually put the income towards it.
I love how just powerful uh, Sato's uh, stabbing attack is. Oh yeah, that's pretty, pretty damn good. Gonna get this to even, uh, 2-2-0 two, two, and then go for another farm. Oh, you did Benjamin at the top, so we are earning a bit extra money, right? Yeah. Okay. Yep, just a little bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I did talk about this on last stream, about how... Why well, I think... Uh, half Cash is probably the... Of my least favorite of the game modes, and it's not that it's difficult. But not because of that. Uh, what I figured out was like, okay, when you play a game of balloons, you're always expecting one thing. Uh, you start up the game, you want to get a towel, you see how much it costs, and you're like, okay, so it's going to take me like this long to build up that amount. And that's fine. Uh, but then when you increase the difficulty, it's you see that number that you see uh, for how much you have to save up. Increase. Uh, but even though that increases, uh, you can still see the power. Yeah. We definitely do. Uh, but what's it called? Uh, when you see that uh, the difficulty increases, it increases the amount of cost for the upgrades. Like okay. That makes it so there is a difference constantly between the difficulties. But at least during all of them, you see a number and then you know, okay, this is how long it's going to take me to build up that amount. You can make that guesstimation. Half Cash is the only game mode that isn't like that. You want to press continue or should I? I can. Okay. All right, let's get more popping power out. Yeah, upgrade that to spike balls. Okay, but yeah, the what do we call? Uh, the half cash is the only game mode different than that. Where you see the number that it's going to be like, okay, this is how much you have to pay for, and you can make a guesstimation of how long it's going to take. You can't make that guesstimation of how long it's going to take to actually build up that amount. Because instead of it's just being an increased amount uh, to get, or increased amount to pay for the towers, it's now instead a. Uh, decrease in the amount you earn, so you'll not be able to correctly predict how many ways it'll take you to build up that money to get that tower. And it fucks you over mentally. You, you lose the planning side uh, to it. And planning is very important when it comes to the just balloons in general. You can go on that, right? Yeah. Next time we go to Bush Gardens, I might be trying out Sheikra. Are you gonna be joining me? Maybe. I really don't have any interest in going on Sheikra again. But at the same time, uh, I was able to deal with Montu 
easy enough, so... Sure, maybe. Yeah. We'll see. Chica is horrifying, though. It's very quick, though. Yeah, a quick and painful death. Great. Alright, so Chase, just so you know, uh, when we play, sometimes we have one person being the farmer, the one that handles all the economy, and then sometimes we just have everyone doing it all at once. Uh, Depends on the game. Depends on which game we do, uh, whether or not we'll have one person focusing on it. So are we doing Vortex immediately after this, or are we doing another challenge? I'd say probably do Vortex, because I'm getting a little tired. Um, obviously we had a long day, stuff like that. Didn't take a nap, so... Okay. Might want to do the Vortex and maybe do a challenge after Vortex or maybe just call it. I don't want to do both the normal and then the leak tonight, that's for sure. I'd rather save one for tomorrow or the next day or something. Okay. No issue on that. Oh, do we have enough for this next wave? Around 63. Uh, that's why I grabbed a bot or top half submarine. Just because it's just constant popping power. Yeah, it dealt with most of it there. But most is not all. So far, so good. Yep. Uh, I want to go ahead and get spike mine, but it's 8 down to 100. That just means pretty much not being able to get it for the entire fucking game. Yeah, I'm about to get the uh, tier four on the. Uh, um, just got this. So I feel like if we get elite defender, it's I think we're good. But it was fifteen thousand. I don't know how we're getting. I don't know how we're getting fifteen thousand on half cash mode. Uh, the only way I can see it is uh, we save five thousand and I sell both my farms and send that to you. I don't think that's actually a good idea. No. Ooh. We will say is a good idea is probably set all your powers to attacking strong. Every single one of them. So we can deal with all the Moabs and once they're broken, uh, the submarine deals with the rest. You can agree with that, right? Yep. All my towers are just strong. <laughs> Alright. This is... Worked... No, actually better than I thought. What did you say? You wanted to go for the mines? Yeah. Just five or two hundred more. About to have it. Thank you. All right. Now we'll save up to get a. Uh, now with that, defender. anything that is not a Moab will be destroyed. That includes the you fortified. Think that's a good move. Huh? What did you say? 
Oh no, if I just lost you. Can you hear me? I can't hear you at all. Oh great. This is the issue with internet connection and Yeah, we're about to lose one. You can hear me? Okay. I know it's on my side, my internet is actually good. And I can keep track of the bitrate I have for the stream as well. So I can see my internet. So this is I'm in a hotel, so it's probably mine. Yeah. So what did you say the the thing you think would be a good idea? The lead defender, but it's not kicking me. It's also not letting me join back in either. Uh, so you're currently in that like right. limbo safe, which is loading. Yeah, the same true dev and waiting for other players and stuck at five seconds. Okay, I'll turn I'm off auto sight. Game go. I turned off auto start. Uh, do you have auto start on? No, I do not. Okay, then hopefully at the end of this wave, it should uh, let you rejoin. Okay. No, it still has this thing. Ah, uh, great. Well, then that means guess what? Just yeah, do. Well, hold on, down thumbs. What was the thing? I what was the thing that we did before? I went to a certain thing and I would close the app and I would come back yeah. in. You'd use the task cool. manager uh, in Windows and use that to completely shut down Bloons and Steam. Then you reopen it and it will let you rejoin uh, a co-op game immediately. Alright. If you want to try that. So what do I do now? You do... Task Manager, and then in the Processes section, you go down underneath uh, Apps and click on Bloom Elephant 6, and then in the bottom right corner, there's End Task. You press that, and then it should close your BT6 window, and then you just open it up again. Yep, it says waiting for the player. It's about to kick I you. One second. There you go. You've been kicked, uh, but not disconnect. Oh, you disconnected, but not removed. Oh yeah, and uh, Chase. Yeah, it's on the sample. Not able to uh, type in chat while you're playing. You can hear watch. Uh, but before we actually do that, uh. Would you be joining us for the Vortex game that we're going to be doing? We're going to be doing the normal Vortex difficulty. I don't believe it's going to be that hard of a challenge, in all honesty. Okay, it says you rejoined. Well, I'm waiting for that. I'm waiting for... I'm waiting for the current... I'm waiting for the current round. Okay, so I've been around. Round. Uh, we're just going to round 80 here, and then we'll be going directly into the boss event immediately after. So, we have like 5 minutes at most before we do the boss event. Hey, I'm in. Okay, good. Wait. And see, how much money do you have? I uh, have we have a whole lot of stuff coming this way. Okay. Yeah, uh -huh. we got that. See what happens. Yep. Alright, Chase, just so you know how we usually handle the boss fight, I have a random spinner that... Oh no, it's next wave. My oh. bad. It's still 75. Okay, I have a, a random power spinner that will decide... Uh, we will be using an instant monkey each at the beginning of the game. Right. Uh, and the random tower spinner will 
uh, okay. select which tower type that we can that, right. uh, use an instant monkey on each. Uh, by doing that, uh, it makes it so we don't go too overpowered by just grabbing all the farms all at once. But it lets us also have a small boost uh, beforehand. Uh, we do that for normal difficulty and then we just run the game. We keep auto we keep auto start on until pretty much five rounds before the boss comes in, and then uh, work together on it. Oh yeah, it's it's only one insta per person on normal difficulty. And are we doing random also? The random tower for it, yeah. We'll see which uh, one is based off that. Hmm. Okay, good. That was able to deal with it. That's good to see. Hmm. I think I'll get another one. There you go. I got two subs that are just causing constant damage back or in the back, so I got rid of my farms, so this is all I'm going to have for the rest of it. Waiting for round 80 at this point. Oh, yeah. Uh, yesterday I looked at the boss event and saw that there's three towers in particular that have uh, paths restricted. So, uh, the first one that was restricted is the bottom path engineer you can't use that so no balloon trap and no xxxl trap okay uh then the second one that's restricted is the top path banana farm so that's two major money ones that are restricted and then the last one that's restricted is Middle Path Bomb Shooter. You there? Uh, yeah. Keeps cutting out pretty hard, though, when you're talking. Ah, uh, of course, of course, of course. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you perfectly fine. Let's create this. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Um. I exit the call and rejoined. Can you hear me now? Ah, uh, yay. Oh, there's no draw there. Okay. Uh, let's deal with the technical issues first. I've never played a game on this map. Oh, this is a decent uh, map, and I want to see.
Okay, so this is cornfield. Uh, so true, there's a bunch of corn everywhere, and they are all obstacles you can clear. Uh, you picked your hero. John, you there? No, he's not. No, he's not there at all. Exit call. You call him. Am I going to actually have to go ahead and do an actual phone call with him soon? That's bad if I have to do that. I mean, the audio quality will drop when it comes to him talking. Because it'll just be uh, him over the phone. Uh, going ahead. Okay, so it seems the audio, but the call on Discord is not working, so I'm actually just going to call him on my phone. Uh, this going, I don't know how the audio call will be though. Hello. Hey, okay. Sounds a lot better. Yeah. Uh, Can doing you the still do this through the stream, fine, or? Uh... Just say like five words and I'm going to have the stream unmuted so I can see what the audio quality is for your talking. Alright, so let me know how this sounds, if it's good or not. Okay, it's you can obviously tell it's from a phone, but it's decent enough. Yeah, alright, so what is the game plan? Should I be using this guy? Uh... Or should I be switching to, like, Benjamin for extra money and stuff? Honestly, for this challenge in particular, the best three options we have are Benjamin. Uh, actually, there's four options. Of, oh, no, there's, there's three options at best. Uh, there's Benjamin. He's good for extra money. ETN, obviously for the extra uh, camel detection. And last one is Psy. Because he can attack the entire across the entire map and ignore obstacles all the way through. Alright, so maybe I should be the only one placing down my hero right away. Yeah. And I so should I level up quicker. Yep. And I'll switch mine to I'll go Psy, actually. Alright, so you guys don't place your hero right away, but you wanna spin for a tower thing? Uh Let's actually get this started. Uh, do not place any towers immediately, because we want to see uh, who has access to powers, because powers mean the instant monkeys. Uh, Jace, just give a thumbs up or a thumbs down, telling us if you have access to tower or powers. I do not. Of course you don't. That's that's how it always is. Okay, neither you do. So will we start? And I'll send a code again. Okay, send a code. How would you just give me the tower? Can you tell me what tower it is? How mine is, so I can just look at the tower and then I can tell you roughly what it is. So just in case it is, you could just send me drops or something. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, let me, I'll do the spinner first then. Sue so all towers. So we'll do the towers for each of you two first. Yeah, then I'll join match because then once I join match, I can't look at my towers. Okay, did a test spin. So who do we want to do first? Uh, Jace's tower or Sean's tower? Oh, I'll just do him first. Okay, uh, Jace's tower would be... A druid. Right. So Jace would be getting a druid. And... Sean, your tower would be... A monkey ace. Monkey Ace, let me look at what Monkey Aces I have. I have a 
four zero two monkey ace. That's actually perfect. I have a four zero two monkey ace. So if it doesn't work, that's what I would be wanting to do. Okay. Four zero two. Uh, Jay, so to explain, with running the towers right here, these are the insta monkey ones that we could place. After you, or that's the one that the powers. If you two do not have uh powers. Let me know what level Insta Monkey you would be placing of that one. So for you, Druid, for Sean is a Monkey Ace. And I would be sending cash drops to uh, enable you guys to actually place down that exact one. Of course, the money from the cash drops have to go towards that Insta Monkey, though. Or towards that tower, if I do that. So, uh, back, oh, geez, back out for a second. Check your Insta Monkey and see what level Druid you'd be doing. Hey, hey Drex, how are you doing today? Uh, we're about to be doing the co-op uh, Vortex if you want to join. I'm doing good. A nice long day at Bush Gardens today. Which I'm surprised Bush Gardens opened so soon after a hurricane. Okay, Jace's ones are uh, 001 and 000, so I'll just be sending him one cash crate, essentially. Yeah, and then he got upgraded a couple times. Yeah. Uh, Drex, you want to join for the boss? Okay, Drex is joining as well, so I'll do another spin for him. Alright, and uh... Maybe he could do Sada or something like that? For them? Uh, probably I'd request Drex to do, uh, Benjamin. Benjamin? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But try to let me get mine down first for a couple waves. Okay. Oh, yeah, and Drex's Insta Monkey would be a Dartling Gunner. So, be Drex, before you join, check to see what uh, level Insta Monkey you have for a Dartling Gunner. And which one you'd be placing down. So, if in case you don't have powers, I'll be able to know how many uh, cash drops you use uh, to send you. So, once again, mine was a 402, which is perfect because the middle path is the camo, and I don't really care about the camo. Yeah. If I'm bait, so. Alright. Well, if you're doing a. Oh, we have Monkey Knowledge active, so that means probably a 401 is what you'd be going for. 402 does nothing extra for you. Just do Wing Monkey, and it's actually better than the 402. Alright, then yeah, then I'll use that extra, whatever, 300 towards, uh... Okay, so yours is a 402 Monkey Ace, the Operation Dot Store. Uh, Jace's is... A 001 uh, Druid, so I'll just be giving him uh, one cash crate if it doesn't give him powers. And then for Drex is a 300 Dartling Gunner. Ah, huh. oh, goddamn, that one's a fucking expensive. That one's actually multiple cash drops there. Okay, and I'll just spin for mine as well at the beginning. Because why not? And... Mine is a bomb shooter. That's nice. Yeah, that's a very good one. Okay. And how the hell do we play this map? I've never played this map before. Oh, let's get this started first and then we'll go there. But let's see but how I many power. Wanna... Huh? I don't want to, like, screw up placements wise. Okay. What the fuck? Alright, I do not have stuff, so you're going to have to, like, send me. Okay, see, Drex does not have powers, I don't have powers, Sean doesn't have powers. Literally no one has a power this time. Alright, so everyone back out. Yep. Jesus Christ. There we go. I create a match. I'll send it in the chats. There you go. Sent to both you two. Uh, all three of you. Okay, everyone's back in. Let's see, hopefully 
we have at least a per single person with a power. I do not have powers. No. That's two no's. Okay, the only one with a power this time is Drex. But I'm not going to request that Drex actually sends everyone cash drop, so... Well, we start again. Okay, new code, sending it again. Okay, readying up. Let's please have this work. Okay, I don't have a power. No. Okay, we got uh, player 3 this time, so again, Drex was allowed. Yep, uh... Sean, can you go ahead and start one then? And send me the code? There we go. There's next card. Okay. Ready up. Let's see if this gets us. Uh, we need at least either you or me to have. Do we want someone to have Benjamin? Eh, it doesn't matter enough. Let's just go with this. Ah. I do not have powers. I do. Give me a moment. Okay. Do you know which one would give me a moment? Let me make sure I have enough cash drops. How many am I going to need? Uh, let's see. For... First, let me place down my tower. No, don't start. Don't start this. Whatever. No, don't start. Let me place down my tower. And then, right, I need to purchase a few more cash drops. Probably, I only have six. Okay. Well, let's see. It's one cash drop would be for. Uh, what's it called? One cash shop for Jace, two cash shops for Drex, but let's see, which one of you two actually needs a cash shop? Or which one do you has a power, which one doesn't? Okay, Dalton Gun, that's a two cash shop, so it's just one cash shop for Jace. And then for me, it would be uh, two because it would be a tier four uh, bomb shooter. Alright, uh, start it up on slow. Okay. I'll try to send it to you. I'm turning off auto start. Yep. Everyone make sure auto starts off. Yep. Oh, hey Blank. Uh, you just missed the start of... Well, the literal, literal start of the Vortex event. We do a full yeah, I'm sending you money, then send it to the next person. Alright. Okay. Let's see. Mine was... Bomb Shooter. Uh, someone does not auto start off. Yeah, make sure auto start off. Now I bomb shoot it down, and now it's sending uh, two clicks to uh, player three so that he can get down. Yeah. Okay, so you can get your instant monkey down.
Oh, yeah, Sean, do you have your int or your hero down? No, I need that now. Now I will. Okay, sent you some of the money back. Uh, no, do not do any heroes besides ETN for probably the first uh, 20 rounds. So that ETN has time to get us all camera detection first. That means I'm holding off on doing uh, Psy for a bit. Essentially, everyone just focus on everything else. Oh, we already have popping power up there, so it's uh. Yeah. Alright, remember the three restrictions we have for uh, actual towers is bottom path uh, engineer. What's it called? Uh, top path banana farm. And last and definitely not least, middle pass bomb shooter. We lose the mob eliminator. Oh, they! Oh, they! They got sneaky on us. Uh, if you notice, know, all three. It's the uh, balloon trap and XXXL balloon trap. It's the banana central, and it's the uh, Moab eliminator. Three of the most important towers for dealing with a boss. All right, I heard We're taken out. A top path banana farm. Middle path bomb shooter. What was the other one? Bottom path engineer. Oh man, they went they went crazy on this. Yeah. Not, not cool. Oh come on! Please don't be me. Is it me? No, that's listening place. Yes, you can upgrade your towers. There is no restriction on that. You can upgrade your insta towers or you can place anything you want. It's pretty. Just make sure you have uh, auto start off. Okay, good. We have auto start off, so I'll turn it on for a bit, so that it's actually uh, on the stream, and I'll turn it off on round 35. We have everyone else off, so it'll be turned off immediately. Okay. Since we don't have mobile limiter, uh, what do you think should be the? F oh, actually, we passed round twenty, so everyone, you can place down your heroes now. I love this smell of bubble wrap. Uh, but since we don't have mobile eliminator, uh, uh, early rounds against the boss will probably be focused on uh, sniper monkey. Like usual, actually, now that I consider it. Yes. I'm saving up to get my farm to tier 3 before I actually go for uh, my hero. I'll be frank, this is a very, very, very good map for, uh, a boss. It's different, that's for sure. Yeah. So what is this under? Easy or medium? This one would probably be a medium. 
was about to say because bottom path marketplace is 2900, not 3130. What is it on easy? Cheaper. 525. I never, I never ever focus on getting a banana farm on easy mode of any map, just because you don't need to. Yeah, understandable. Who's, uh, who's... I'll turn it off. Who's doing pop and power? For this boss. We just rock and roll what we got. Which... Might be good enough. Honestly, it probably is. Boss. That's what I'm thinking. All this does is it shocks. It doesn't spit out extra guys. It doesn't... No, it shocks. It paralyzes people. But it paralyzes any balloons that are near it when the skull is broken. And it jumps backwards for a small bit during that time. Yeah. Okay, this is the last round before the boss comes out. I think our main popping powers are going to be the Operation Dart Storm and the Laser Cannon. I don't believe the Bomb Blitz is going to be a major use for it. Or maybe it'll just be there for popping the random balloon to get by. I guess let's get this started. Yep. Uh, whoever has a dotting gun, please control it and have it targeted the entire way through. Oh yeah, this is gonna be no problem. Uh, no, this does seem like it actually will be a problem at this rate. Yeah. Okay, I'm selling my farm and uh, boosting my sniper's attack speed. Maybe that'll help. Yeah, that's helping. Would like if someone has some money to send me to me, I will upgrade it to full auto. Thank you. There we go. Full auto. Oh, we have a bunch of balloons that are about to head across. Yeah, this is not exactly looking good. At all. It is... On the last third of the track already. Okay, that's a good jump back. Oh, monkey storm, thank you. Who the hell just goes AFK at this point? 
No AFK. Okay, actually, thanks to the monkey storms, I think we can win now. Yeah, it's two of them. I'm just like, we're not losing to the first fucking thing on the first tier boss. It's not happening. Yeah, defense is very bad on this. We had no one, or we didn't have anyone being the main uh, economy builder. Oh, well, let's start sending to me, let me do, because I already got two things out. Okay. Yes. So, send me money, guys. Let me get this moving. Let's sell. There you go. I will keep my uh, sniper up there because he's probably going to be a main form of defense in the next one, getting into elite defender. That's perfectly fine. But I would say instead of everyone else build, building monkey farms, I would say uh, banana farms, I would say send me it so I could build this big ass temple stuff. Yep. Yeah, Blank, I can agree. The defense is. Spotty at best. The placement of our towers are complete and utter shit. In this, in all honesty. Now, the only ones I could say the towers are in the right spots are the farms in the top middle because that's where you'd need to place them if you want to do uh, a monkey village to grab all of them. Uh, and then additionally the, what do you want to call it? Uh, the sniper and the spike factory. The sniper because that's the best spot for it to be, uh, to not get shot by, uh, Vortex. And the spike factory because of course you're putting a spike factory at the very back. Uh, Drex, don't forget to pick up your bananas. Send me money so I can upgrade this stuff quicker. It will. I can get this going. Hopefully, we can have some serious money coming in very soon. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're getting extra lives, too. That's a plus. Uh, yeah, that's always a plus. Oh, yeah, so I went by Walmart today. Uh, -huh. uh they had everything in stock like normal, except for anything refrigerated or frozen. Everything there was, uh, empty. I guess for obvious reasons. Yeah. Now I'll focus on, uh, uh, honestly I might just save the money to send it to uh, get Elite Defender or something for you. It's yep. It needs to be, well. uh, 14,000 for that. basically get through this next one. Send Devin money real quick to see how far he's away from getting 
believe that's yours, right? The elite defender? Yeah. Okay, yeah. They said, Shit, you're here with me for that test I have no idea what you said. I just moved. Give me a second. To send me money? Yep. No one else is sending me money, apparently. So, actually, no. Uh, people don't really have money in a second. Oh, no, well, they did. They, you would have been at 10,000 one night, we were at 7,000 if they sent it. That's fine, I guess. Fortune yet? Nope. Um, 320 more. There we go, we got Elite Defender. Alright, I'm gonna focus on back on the money thing, so it's up to you guys to decide how we're killing stuff. Honestly, probably one of the best ways. Uh, do not upgrade that as Elite Defender yet. Uh, if you're going to if you're going to do Elite Defender, Place down a village next to it and do a 002 so that all the other purchases for it will be extra cheap. Just had to mention that. Okay, it's losing health uh, much quicker. But still not at a good rate. Oh, very much not a good rate. Give me a moment. Okay, there we beat the first uh, skull. That's nice. Uh, it's not exactly a long track. Oh, we, oh, we almost lost there. From that rush from round 63. And there's rush number 2. We lost about 30 lives there. Here's rush number 3. And that's all of them. Alright, yeah, well, we did not play as a team at all. We all were trying to build our own monkey farms. We gotta have someone that's focusing on the money. If we're all separating our money, we won't generate as much money early. We gotta let one person generate the money, people send to them, and then when it comes time, he sends the money and everyone builds up shit. And then once he gets his set up, he could just help everyone else get theirs all set up. If we're all setting up slowly, it's oh, no. not gonna work. Okay, here's a major issue though. Uh, we ended up with having, uh, I'll say about eight, maybe nine thousand not being spent. Just that much not being spent towards popping power. People just saving it. So, While we lost. Alright, 
Are we... Oh. I didn't restart, I went back to home. Yeah, that makes sense not to restart that one. Uh, so do we try another one again? I'd be down to do one that's you and me, just so we can bang through it and won't we go make it a little easier on teamwork. Um, and you could do whatever with the rest of your stream, but if not, then I'm, I might, I might just call it. Okay. So which one do you want to do? I'll say, sure, if we can, or it can be just you and me for a game. Alright, you want to do the Vortex and then you could do more Vortex stuff with them or whatever? Uh, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, let's do Vortex. Again, I say you be the one that creates it because, uh, I never, whenever I create it, you never get powers. That's a guaranteed. Uh, do you wanna... What hero do you wanna... You wanna do the wheel and everything real? Yep, I got the wheel set up, just uh, send me the code. And then, before I actually type in the code, close the extra two slots. Extra what? The extra two slots for people playing. Close those. How do I do that? You press the close button on them. There you go. And let's see which heroes. You did that one. No, I'll just leave it there. That's good enough. Alright, do you know what... What you have for your towers or whatnot? Uh, no, I didn't do that yet. Uh, and to Chase, uh, we, I don't have the Discord made yet. Uh, I'll be making a Discord uh, for streaming soon. When I do, I will announce it. Uh, right now, we're literally just using uh, an actual phone call. <laughs> That's why Sean sounds uh, like he's going over speaker, because he is going over speaker. In a hotel that has really shitty Wi-Fi, so can't do Discord. Yep. All right, I got powers. Do you have powers? I do not. All right. I'll so spin what it. Was... Spinning for you first. I will spin for you again because that's not happening. Okay. You got a monkey buck in the air the first time, so that's not happening. Yeah. Okay, you got a boomerang monkey. That one's better. Uh, and then I'll spin for me. Wait, do not clear a bunch. Just leave one. I got a monkey village. Alright, give me a moment. So just say, send me three cash crates. Let's see, that right. looks like a... Yeah, tier four. That's a good one. Alright, just start it up real slowly. Okay. Thank you. I'll place one here. So, are you going to be money this game? Uh... Ready to fly. Sure. Alright. Let's see, you should do... That's all. Okay. If that's up, now to turn off the uh, random tower spin. Which actually, after this game, want to do a random tower game? Oh, uh, I... 
maybe that'd just I might be one. Let you do, I might let you just do stuff with your streamers and stuff for other people or other guys. I might just don't know exactly what the hell the plan is tomorrow with all the hotel stuff. So don't know if I actually have to be up early or not. Okay. Understandable. Yeah. Drex just completed the uh, medium difficulty Odyssey. Okay. Decent. Nice. You want to do auto surf for a few? Yeah. And his instant monkey that he got from it, uh, is a sweet two zero sniper monkey. Which, that's powerful. Powerful, in general. Uh, for Jace, when I'm streaming tomorrow, I have literally no idea. I might start streaming as early as, uh, 2pm, it might be streaming on as late as 2 a.m. the next day. It's just, I don't really keep a good schedule for it. I went by idea like, okay, I'm not making money by streaming, just doing this as a hobby, essentially. Playing games on stream, so it's like... No reason to actually set a straight-up schedule. So if something else comes up for me to do, I'll probably go ahead and jump and do that first. So my streaming does... Uh, I do stream nearly every day though. I'll say that. Well, apparently Drex was wrong on which instant monkey he got. It was a 023, which is actually better than a 320, that's for sure. Uh, you're here uh, just a little too early, but... It's fine, he has camera detection as well. So we don't really, only, there's only two ways that we really, really have to worry about for camera detection for the first 40, to be honest. So, by that time I'm assuming my guy will still be up to 8. Hey, just a quick question. Do you think you can fit a sniper next to my sniper in that circle of banana farms? Mm, no. Oh, yeah. I was hoping I gave just enough room for it. There we go, got four, uh, tier three, sir, now. We can use those to get to Monkey Town and then, uh, Monkey City, and then I'll upgrade them to tier fours. Uh, Jace. If I want to hear the voice, or your voice, I can go to your stream. I saw, saw that you had a video where you were doing... Oh, what was it called? Uh, the just chatting section. Uh, 
Uh, see you next time. There we go. Upgrade to Monkey Town. Next one's Monkey City. We have to increase the cash generation. There you go, Monkey City. Okay, next thing is upgrading these guys, which means... Let's just... Each one of these is... Damn out. Actually, yeah, let's just do this. Got a Central Market down. Wait, not Central Market. Yeah, Central Market. level 7. Great if we got to level 8 already, but it's moving a little slow. Yeah. seven after this wave. Okay, uh, can you try placing a uh, sniper to the right of mine up there? No, I already have a sniper going towards that here. Well, the it's reason for solid. that is so that it's away from the vortex, so it doesn't get uh, froze or paralyzed from it. Right, so I'm just going to sell this one though. There you go, got another one there. I will say this, we keep uh, the outer two on the left side. There's a specific reason for that. Why? Uh, for this court? Uh, because those are obstacles. Obstacles, the uh, attacks of the uh, dark monkeys will bounce off of. AKA, a ultra juggernaut could use this area to get a extreme amount of pops. Got a tier 4 ready. Uh, the question is whether or not I'll be able to save up to get a tier 5 or whether or not I just send money to you to get yours up to uh, tier 4 as well. And have two tier fours running next to each other. Actually now I think I could sell this as well. start off. Okay. Don't use the money up right away. Okay, I don't have enough for Elite Defender yet, so I'll just send it to you. There we go, and it's... Let's see, how much do we need? 14,000 for one of them. Uh, you're 2,000. There, yeah, we're at 4,000. I guess we'll just save for one or two rounds and then I'll sell two of the farms. So that we'll have enough to get you to Elite Defender. Oh, 
perform pretty well. Yep. It's going much quicker now. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's sell this one. And just send all the two. There we go. Now it's going to be just going faster. Faster and faster. I don't think I need to actually upgrade mine to Elite Defender by the way, so I'll just focus on uh, continuing with the economy build up. Yep. So I'm sending you money right back. Alright, final level up. Now everyone has camera detection. Yep. Let's get down another farm. Another one. There we go. What path should I go with the blue gunner? Uh, if you're at the very, very front, a uh, 0 to 4 is the best way to go. And have it targeted too strong so it can slow down all the MOAPs. But honestly, I don't usually suggest glue gunners for boss events. Uh, just for the fact that they... Actually, when the boss comes out, you're going to need to switch up uh, its targeting to last. Okay. So that it doesn't target the uh, boss, which cannot be hit by it. Kind of the same thing that I would suggest when you're dealing with a bad. I think we have enough popping power for now, so... Uh... What is it to do? Do I suggest that we... Uh, do we just put all the money towards me to build up the economy, or do I say you keep the money you're doing just so you can build up more popping power over time? Uh... I say at 55, you stop and we focus strictly on popping power. So just keep building until 55. Okay. I was talking about your money in particular. Do we have you send money to me for it? So we build yeah, up... That's fine. Yeah, we have enough. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. That makes sense. Oh, well, we can do that. point to have all those as uh, tier fours you'd be in that'd be pretty damn good shape by 55 and then then for f four waves that will rack up plenty of enough money us be able to beat the next boss honestly we should be able to beat the next boss with just two elite defenders in general that is true too but we'll definitely aim for more than just that. <sighs> Let's see. So basically after you get those to tier 4s, your next thing is to upgrade the monkey village, right? Next thing is popping power and then upgrade the monkey village, or monkey upload. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Get yeah, enough to upgrade again? Yes, yes I do. 
Jesus Christ, we're earning money very quickly for this. And see, this is a much better uh, level of economy than what we had uh, last game. Yeah, that's why I believe you should always have one person in the economy and everyone else should focus on popping power. Or, and once you have enough popping power for a while, send it to the one person to build up the economy even quicker. Alright, you're good now. Yep. Now... Next thing I do is save up for Elite Defender so I can have that place down as well so we both have elite defenders and then I upgrade for monkey oplips or I send money to you for uh, building up it, some more popping power somewhere. Those are the options. More shall come. What do you think? Um... I say get a little more popping power, just in case. Oh, uh, I'd rather. There we go. Elite Defender, that's the second level of popping power. Now, next one, what do you think should be the next form of popping power we go for? Or do we just save up and then we find out how much? Yeah, hmm. I'd say we just save up. Okay. Uh, I'm going to guess we're going to have around twenty-five to 30,000. Which is a great amount to have saved up. Yeah, thanks Chase, we... Yeah, we're definitely doing better this time. Uh... Started off with a boomerang and some monkey for Sean. And for me, just money for the, uh... Village and one farm. Is essentially how it turned out. Works. It's looking much better. I'd say just upgrade that shit. Upgrade it. Monkey Apocalypse. We're, we're gonna have enough money. Yeah, build... Build what? Uh, then you go put... Yes, uh... You go get another farm down. Or... Because I, I think we have enough pocket power. Uh, I think I'll save up for the next two rounds and then send you money, and you can buy something for popping power first. Just in case. Because the quicker we kill the Vortex, the better it is. Turning off auto start. Okay, I have 28,000. Uh, you can get Apache Dodge Ship with this then. Send me whatever you have left over again from that. Yeah, uh, yeah. And then I'm gonna send, keep sending you money for... So you could keep upgrading that because I think we're fine. Yep. Now on the money part. Okay, now it starts decreasing quickly. So, Apache Dodge Ship isn't much by itself on this in Odyssey, but with two levels of support, yeah, it's going down quickly. Let's see, it's 60,000 for Monkey Wall Street, I'm at 24,000. I think I'll just save up directly for Monkey Wall Street instead of heading for one of the, uh, another tier 4. Just going straight for tier 5.
And there goes the tier 2. Got a tier 2 pop. Got me... Got ourselves uh, 50... Monkey catch. Monkey Wall Street. Let's see, the next thing that we should do, uh, can you place a farm right next, or to the right of my, uh, Monkeyopolis? And we'll be upgrading that to a, uh, Monkey Wall Street as well. Because we cannot go for the top path, uh, Banana farm, so we might as well just focus on getting what we can have. Okay, seems like I disconnected. Huh. Are you back in or not yet? Uh, not yet. I wonder why I disconnected. Uh, looks like I'm going to have to do uh, task manager closing it and yep, rejoining. Uh, hopefully this lets me rejoin. Ah, uh, it does not. the hell? Okay, uh, Sean, it just kicked me completely from it. Oh, it's, re it's not even allowing me to reconnect to my game. It's this moment. If I task master it, it's gonna kick the game, right? Yes. Like the game. So I have to try to wait it out or... Ah... Uh... I'm back in. Maybe you want to try one more time, or...? Okay. Hello, Blink. Uh, currently we're having an issue where I got kicked from... Why is it unable to sing? I I'm trying to deal with uh, it kicking me and trying to get rejoined into the team. Or into the game. Uh, what the hell is happening? Can we get this to work? Yes. You're seeing a black screen because I don't have balloons open yet. There we go. Ah, uh, please let me join. Yes, we join. Waiting Perfect. for the end of current round. Thank God. Didn't want to lose that again. So what round are you on, by the way? Oh, you still have all that money. I was like, why am I not leveling up? I like getting money for this. Alright, yes. Well, once you're back in, you can send me that damn money. Well, what round is it? 67. Okay. Ah, you just gotta love tech, uh, tech, uh, technology. Right, send, me, send me that money, send me that money. Okay. Right. I keep doing that for probably two more waves. Yeah. Uh, thank you for the follow, uh, Unseen Norm. We have one more wave of that. Oh, you have powers activated, right? No, you can use powers, right? Yeah. Okay. So I think after getting uh, Monkey Wall Street for you, uh, 
I believe you should be the one to go for the middle path. Because I won't have the ability to place down a tech bot for it. That's fine. That makes sense. So, you'll be essentially saving up for that while I uh, focus on popping power. Send me a little money. Thank you. Okay. You know what? I'll just send you the rest. Uh, start working on that next farm. The middle path. So it'd be a 250 Z goal. See, what type is that? Okay. Is that here? Well, gotta go for primary expertise on this. Well, not primary expertise, to go just stop at this one, we'll get primary expertise later. For now, let's get that, and let's get a dot. Oh, uh, which... Which one are we going for, of the Paragons? I have no idea. We, have to, we should probably decide that now, before we start placing down Paragons. Or... Uh, Place now a bunch of towers. I said boomerang. Okay. I have a tier four boomerang now. You pour that? Sure. Yeah. Cool. There you go. Placing one at the front. Uh, gonna place one back here as well. And then let's move this here. Okay, actually, before I do that, let's grab. The ones you'd be placing, uh. So you're doing a 202 there. That's. I'll go there. Trying to figure out what to place where. Doesn't really matter. That one. There we go. That yeah. should be good. Uh. Hello, Fatfish. How are you doing today? do this. I don't know if that's the case. I'm gonna make him stay back here. Yeah, so that the more <laughs> popping power or more pops go to the boomerangs instead. I think they move him even further back or is he always gonna do that regardless? Well do what? The rockets. Uh no he won't be doing that constantly, I believe. But move him on top of the helipilot. Uh helipad. That way it will oh, be still Things be able to take on 70 plus by themselves? Uh, what they are right now? No. Uh, once we upgrade them, yes. Uh. I'm gonna get mob domination first, then I'll go for Glaive Lord. Let's see, as far as which paragons we could have gone for, we can't do engineers since we don't have bottom path or the last one for middle path either. Can't do buccaneers because we don't have, well, water. Kind of big need for buccaneers. Uh, so that leaves us with ninja, boomerang, and dart as our options. We often use dart just every single time, because it's the overpowered one. So not using it for once is probably a nice thing to do.
Uh, now the waves are gonna start going slow again. The zombies in the 70s are just slow in general. Oh yeah, Fatfish, thank you for the follow. Or oh, Fatfish underscore Y. Which honestly, the last letter explains a lot. It's the exact thing. Why? Why the hell is a fish fat? Tron, you know plenty of uh, hillbillies that would be absolutely, uh, or hillbilly crackers that are very much loving, uh, fishing. They would know exactly everything about it. Could you tell me, uh, what is good about a fat fish? From their perspective. Sounds like a damn Goliath grouper. A what? A Goliath grouper. That's a fat fish. Okay. And what's good about it? It's a big catch. Anything else or just that? Ah, that's about it. Okay then. Yeah, I don't know. I've never really, when I with my fish tank, I've never really had too many fat fish. So, didn't really... I mean, I had a puffer. You could maybe consider that a fat fish. And that was still a small one. So Jace, did you get a Paragon, or are you uh, suggesting we get one? Because, yeah, we're going to be aiming to get one. Ah, this is so slow. Send me money so I can get this to 100,000, get this to tier 5, so I don't have, like, such little money coming in because of the, the thing. That'd be great. The, the ability. Why do you have it that it's already calling the loans? I don't know. That I, you're literally causing yourself to lose more. Yeah, I it, know this. That's why I need to get myself... Cancel it. You can turn off the ability uh, with the tech bot. Well, it, it won't use the ability again until I... Uh, Just turn it off right. for now. Alright, I turned it off. Thank you. Only have that turned on when it's actually useful. Which is when you have about uh, 85 to 9, or 90,000 saved up. Let's see, we have a bunch of monkeys here, a bunch of booming monkeys, they're doing fine, we have the two snipers, they're doing fine, cash wise you have over 50,000 saved up, so you could go for Apache Prime if you want, I will say, uh, get the Hello Pilot to actually be locked, or to be in pursuit again, and... Uh, make sure to be using your abilities for the Boomerang Monkeys. Yep. So you're telling me don't take a loan? Yeah, do not take a loan unless that loan immediately allows you to upgrade to Monkey Nomics. Alright. Sounds good. The loan does All not right. do you any good benefit. Alright, then I ain't doing it. Alright, sounds good. I'm ready to go whenever you are. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, uh, it's receiving good damage so far. Holy shit. You wanna send me a little money so I can get a glaive lord? So when he comes around the corner? Sure. I already got all my tier fives. Yeah. Four. I guess keep sending me money so I can get a uh, get towards uh, the bank. Because I don't think we'll have any issue with this. That's what you think for now. Remember, it par it just paralyzed most of our towers in one go. Well, at least let me get a pass to Prime, so if you can send me money. Yeah. Getting there. Now we're there. That's your Prime. All right. Yeah. Now this is this is it. That's more like it. We're cooking with gas. Now we can save up for that bank thing. What you should do is after we defeat this one, sell the Apache Prime and immediately get the bank. Ah, that's very fucking close. More shall come. I need you to send me money still. Alright, we're good. Yep. Now is that that should be all uh, income that we're gonna be going with? So now we just focus on popping power. Get every tier 5 for the boomerang monkeys, which I believe we all have already. Yep. I think we should boost them up a bit though. I'm gonna get perma spikes here. Oh, not perma spikes, perma boost. Remember, if you're doing perma boost, do a 5 2 0. Because perishing potions does boost the ability of the potions themselves. Yeah. I actually wonder who's going to be making more money per round now. You wish the... Monkeynomics or me with uh, Monkeyopolypse? I haven't made a lot this round. Honestly, same. I was at 50,000, so I'm at 53 currently. Now I'm okay. at 57. Yeah, I just gained about 5,000 at the end. Okay, let's get ourselves a Puma Boo here. Come on, just give us the last build money. Okay, there we go. There's a Puma Boo. 
Then I'll get all those guys boosted, and then I'll go ahead and use a helicopter to bring them around to the other towers. And get everything else boosted as well. Okay, while I'm spreading Provo everywhere, I assume you're saving up money for the, uh, what's it called? Paragon? Correct. Okay. Then I'll be putting my money towards, uh, getting tier 4s. You cannot have light See, that guy has got everyone already boosted. Yeah, let's actually get these as well. There you go, let's move you. Uh, over here. Let's get some of these guys down. Before we actually do continue and keep running through these waves, I'm going to be placing down some boomerangs. Okay, there we go. Alright, and since we're not doing the dark paragon, which is the one that we'd be using the rebounds, we don't need uh, these sections anymore. Tier 101. We're not gonna have enough for a paragon, are we? Uh depends on how much you save up. Um if we smack through the waves, I save up less. We actually want the waves to take a little bit. So it gives my thing time to give me extra twelve thousand five hundred over and over and over again. Okay, good to know. So we don't want a lot of stuff at the beginning going crazy. That's why we have that entire first section empty. Yep. Yep. I'm only at 151, so... How much does it need to be? 400. Honestly, we can get it if we sell our farms probably. Yeah, because honestly, I don't know how we beat it without a Paragon on 4.
Okay, that's good. Uh, I don't think we need too high of a level, or too high of a degree paragon. I don't need either. I'd say if I was you, I would stop putting more towers and I would just save from here on out until we get to 100. Okay. Uh, see you later, Jace. Thanks for watching. And playing with those seconds. Anyway, I believe that he has boosted everyone. No, nope, he hasn't boosted those two. It's good to ETN boosted. Okay, so he doesn't like boosting ETN. Interesting. I guess Pumabu does not like ETN. good. Oh, that's good. That only requires uh, us to sell probably one to two to farm said. Let me send you my money. Okay, and how much is it for the upgrade again? Uh, 400,000? Yeah, I'm at 337. Okay, good to hear. Uh, any opinion on which things to sell? I think at this point it might be a good idea t to sell our snipers. What do you think? Okay, I sold mine. Okay, and I'll sell my uh, hell pile as well. There we go, that means we need still 13,000 more to go. Uh, that's not enough from there. I mean, we could start the way it's slow. And we need to be upgraded as soon as I have money. Which one are my upgrading? Uh, actually, two things, I'd say. Uh, possibly sell your glue gunner as well. And as far as which one we're upgrading, I'd suggest uh, your Moab Domination would probably be the best one for us. Eh. Actually, or we do your Glaive Lord. Those two have great range. I said a Glaive Lord. Okay. Alright, so we'll start the wave. We started on the slot. Actually, take. Oh, I have money in the. Let me see the bank. Five in the bank. No, I already took money out. Bank. Alright. So. We started, started slow, and start spamming me the money as soon as you can. Okay. Oh yeah, Drex says he finally beat a uh, hedge on half cash. Nice. Oh, I got enough. Look at that. Okay. Oh. 56. <laughs> that should be good. Uh, okay, he looks... Send you money, you go something towards the back or something. Like get a get like a spike factory or something. 
Че? That one set up. Uh, next one would be here. Just. <laughs> oh, the vortex got sent off of the map. That's how far back it got sent. I don't think. Uh, I'll say this: of all the maps in the game that you have to play half cash on. Probably one of the easiest to do half cash on is Hedge. Because it doesn't just uh, require you to use, uh, you earn half the cash during the game. It actually boosts up the ability of some of the cheaper towers with that map. The top path booming, uh, not booming, uh, top path uh, dartling gunner. Not dartling gunner either. The path, top path dot monkey. That one, it's it just is much stronger there. Uh, same with uh, what do you want to call it? Same with all the tax shooters and the ice uh, monkeys as well. Just most of the primaries are just extremely uh, cheap. Uh, EX, why did I name the Spike Factory a toaster? Well, because the Spike Factory is a toaster. I, I, don't, I don't get the question. It's a toaster. Maybe not a good branded toaster, but it, it, it's still a toaster. There was one other possible name I was thinking of going for for the Spike Factory, and that was a uh, Forbidden Bidet. So what's our next thing we're going for? Just all your Spike Factories? Uh, we got two of them. Next one I'm going for is Super Mines. Because why not? Supermind is already extremely powerful. Yeah. Okay, Sean, I need your opinion on here. We need to figure out who named their Spike Factory better. That's some serious okay, damage. you ready for the yeah. names? Yeah. Okay, so first off we have the Spike District. And the other one is Toaster. Okay. I say free upgrade, like if you just have it out, I like Toaster better. But once you upgrade and it starts changing, Spike District is way better. Okay. So, but right off rip, it does look like a Toaster. The other name is a solid name, too. Okay, okay then. And then I'm out. I'll say this, I think I am done streaming for a day after this video. Mainly because I've been up since... Uh... Since about noon yesterday. Well, I mean, not even yesterday. Uh... Noon the day before yesterday at this point. Yep. Alright, uh... I guess the last thing to get, maybe, is, uh... Legend of the Night? Did you just say the night? Yeah. The night. Okay. 
I say put him a little closer to the front of the map. Well, it's a thing, so, he teleports. I know. So you place he... him at the back and then you teleport him to the front after he gets his boost. Yeah, I put him down and paid for him. That was not an instant uh, monkey. You just paid for him that much yeah. already? Uh, also, can I have 80,000? Who the hell do you think you are? I don't have 80,000. Well, you have two farms to sell. Oh, we don't even sell them yet. Yes, we do. Why? Because fuck you, that's why. Let's go. We're not selling them just yet. Let me, let me get them and get us more arts and shit. I have like three waves. Okay, uh, my Psy is now blue. Here's a question Do we do a 205 or a 025 for Legend of the Night? You were already almost stuck to 200k. Why are you what? Now all of a sudden it dropped. Which one? You started on something else? Oh, I just went and finished leveling up my hero. Oh, yeah, so Drex, I uh, need your opinion on the names for the banana farms now. Which one is a better name for Banana Farm? Okay. Uh, number one, we have the Money Printer. Okay. What's your opinion on that? Oh, uh, Blank, you have to actually mention what your, uh, tower name is so that we actually, you know, I don't have them mem uh, memorized off the top of my head. And Sean, are you there? Yeah. Okay, so, need your opinion on the names. Okay. So, we have three names for the banana farm. First one, Money Printer. Okay, second one, praise banana. Better, but not much. Okay, third one, the economy. I mean, that's to the point. It's probably the first one of the three. Okay. Okay, what would you name a banana farm then? Oh, uh, that's too long of a name. Uh, let's see, what other tower options we mentioned? Uh, we did tack, or spike factory, we did the banana farm. Nah, not that one. Oh, he says, uh, it's praise banana, not praise banana, apparently. I don't think that helps the case. Uh, how about the tax shooter? Uh, what's your guys' name for your tax shooters? Oh, I'm asking the people. Oh, asking Drex and Blank so we get their answers. Okay, oh, got one name.
Okay, can they stop giving the shark a migraine? Shark a migraine? Did you not look at what's happening to a shark? Oh, it's not it's not actually just a migraine. Uh it's having a stroke. Okay. Oh, got two names for the attack. Oh, we have all three names for the attack shooter. Need your opinions on them. Ready? Okay. So number one, we have shooting octopus. That's amusing. I can date. Okay, uh, next one, just tack. Okay, and the last one, uh, tax evasion. So what's your opinion on those three? Which one's the best? Which one's the worst? Are they equal to each other? What's the first one again? Shooting octopus. I kinda like that one the most. I don't know why. Okay. No particular reason. It's just music. Be gone. Okay, so shooting off hooks won that one. Dev, uh, you want to put like a bottom pass uh, plane out there? Just for the hell of it. Get the money to him. I'll send it to you, you can do that. Okay, Sean, what's the next tower you think we should go over? The different names of. Okay, uh, this one we're going to have some very similar ones probably. Okay, so what's your guys' submarines? Yellow submarine. Oh yeah, that's mine. Oh. Mine is actually just yellow submarine. I mean, it's just the Beatles it just came into my head. And Trek says the yellow sub. Oh. Okay, and Blank has his name... Uh, I can't swim. Mine would be bath toy. Yours would be what? Bath toy. Okay. Like a bath toy. Like both Just look at what the fuck Sai is doing right now to all these. It's just shaking them. They don't get to even move forward. Sai gets more OP eventually. Yeah. Okay, so of those three, which one's the best? Um, yellow submarine, yellow sub, or I can't swim. I kind of like I can't swim. Okay, yeah, it was the only unique one. Yeah, and I even guessed, kind of, basically guessed a few guys once. Okay. Okay, so next tower. Alchemist. Okay, Alchemist it is. What is your guys' Alchemist? Baby Christ. Okay, uh, Drex does not have his name, so it's just going to be two names aside. First off, we have Drug Dealer. That's kind of fitting. Okay, and then the second one, uh, we have Midas. 
Midas? Yeah. Uh, you know, Midas touched the... Uh, whatever you touch turns to gold. Ah. Uh, okay. Okay, well, either way. Victory! We beat uh, the normal difficulty boss. I have no idea why it was this... Actually, I, have, I understand why it was this difficult. The f fact that we couldn't get... Uh, bottom path engineer, top path... Uh, banana farm, or... Middle path, bomb shoot, all those. The fact that they took those away, that's extreme. Damn. Actually, looking at the pops, my highest pops is coming from my hero at 1.2 million. Huh. And the, uh, Boomerang Paragon got 8.4 million. So... Yeah, that it didn't exactly do bad. Okay. Uh, do you want to do one game, uh, Random Towers? Uh, no. I already closed up the laptop anyway. Okay. Um, so you could, if you want to do something with them for one game, go for it before you call it. Uh. Sure, if Drex and Blink, if you want to go ahead and play a random tower challenge, then I'm up for that. Uh, and then, just last one for the towers, uh, or actually another tower, is the Buccaneer. Let's see if... What do you think would be a good name for the Buccaneer, actually? Okay. Alright. Well, I will catch you guys later to stream all that. I'm gonna call it a night. Okay. See ya. See ya. Okay, so Sean has left. Uh, he's calling it a night since we had a long day at Bush Gardens. Uh, Jack says his uh, buccaneer is called Monkey Blackbeard. Decent. Uh, Blank has his as I Can't Swim Either, referencing uh, his monkey sub. And then mine is listed as Going Merry. And uh, someone also just posted a Dorito chip. Uh, I'll set up a game. What's to do? Would be hearing one, or at least one game of the random tower challenge. My reasoning, that's why I'm saying just probably one, is because I've been up uh, approaching 48 hours straight now, and I did kind of do a eight and a half hour stream yesterday, so. I am streamed out. Let's get this. Uh, let's see, let's see. Actually, I should probably read the rules for random, uh, random tower challenge just once again because we have Bandit in here and I don't believe they've uh, done this challenge before. So give me a second, I'll bring up the rules. Okay. So the random tower challenge. The rules go like this. There will be a spinner that contains all heroes and towers available in BT6. Uh, the player must spin the spinner once every 5 rounds, i.e. rounds 1, 6, 11, 16, so on and so forth, every 5 rounds. Uh, the spinner that contains all those heroes includes every hero, even the ones that are not selected for the current game. Uh, the only towers that can be purchased are those that the spinner lands on. So. Round 1, it'll decide what towers we can buy. Uh, besides that one, we cannot buy anything else until round 6. So no buying an additional tower after you get the one that the spinner landed on. Uh, if the spinner lands on an available tower, it must be bought immediately. If the player cannot afford to buy the selected tower, they must save up to purchase the tower. 
No purchase of any kind can be made until the tower is purchased, including purchasing other towers or upgrades or removing obstacles. Uh, pretty much that sums up as it. Uh, if you land on a tower with a spinner and you can, uh, it can be purchased even if you don't have the money for it. You cannot in any shape or form use your money for anything except for getting that next tower until you have the towers down. Next one. Uh, if the spinner lands on a hero slash towers that the player does not have available for purchase, the player cannot buy a tower until the next spin of the spinner in 5 rounds. Exactly as it sounds. Uh, so if you land on one that you that is not available, like a hero that's not available, uh, that means for 5 rounds you just skip it and just, just get to save up money. Or spend your money on upgrading your tower instead. Uh, next one. There's no selling of towers uh, at all. Your towers must, once it's placed, it's there. Permanently. Uh, tower peripherals such as the Engineer's Sentries and Giotto's Action Figures can be sold. Uh, yep, exactly as that sounds. Uh, no powers or Insta Monkeys allowed. Uh, it's exactly as that sounds. So no Insta Monkeys, no cash drops, uh, no pontoons, no tech uh, bots, nothing like that at all. Uh, there's no use of glitches or exploits. Obviously. And the use of monkey knowledge is allowed. Okay, that is all the rules. Uh, as far as... Let's go. Oh yeah, and the last thing is the towers that we start off with at the beginning of the game. Uh, not the uh, heroes we start off with is also decided by the spinner. So I have the heroes here. Uh, I'll spin for myself first. To see which hero I have to go with. And I'm going with Azili. Uh, if you do not have the tower that... Or if you do not have the hero that it lands on. Uh, let me know and we'll respin for you. Doing blinks next. And Blank got Psy. Hello, Fall Guy 7. Got to join just to see what might be the last game in the stream. Uh, okay. Now, next one is Bandit. Oh, why did I say uh, Fall Guy 7? Hello, Hamish. Uh, Bandit got Captain Churchill. Uh, how much we just finished uh, the first run to the Vortex boss, and it was actually much more difficult than I expected. Uh, Bandit does not have uh, Captain Churchill, so we'll spin again for him. Okay, if you finally go ahead, uh, we'll probably be doing or uh, trying out the Elite boss tomorrow. Again, probably around the same time. Uh, yep. So Bandit got Psy. Okay. He already has it selected. And... Yeah. Uh, Drex got Benjamin. I know Drex does have Benjamin, so we don't have to worry about that. Let's see. Let's select the map. Uh, we're not going to go for a too difficult a map. It's just going to see if it's an easy one. Okay, here we go. Uh, you do not get to place the heroes immediately. It's when the tower lands on that hero you get to place it. Uh, Cubism is the selected map. That is good for us. I'm going to make sure map split is everywhere. This is going to be hard difficulty, impoppable. And uh, once we start this up, do not place down a tower immediately. We have to spin to see what towers you get to place down each 
That's the first spin. Okay. Here we go. Uh, as far as who's how we're going to start first, uh, let's start off with blank. Blank's first placement is uh, Geraldo, which is not his hero selected for this, so he gets to save up money for the first five rounds. Can't place a tower. Uh, next is Bandit, who has got the glue gunner. So Bandit has to place down a glue gunner. Next one, Drex has landed the Dartling gunner. So his first tower has to be the Dartling gunner. Ben, or Blank, you can AFK. And then last one is me, which is Oban Greenfoot, which means I have to save up for the next five rounds as well. So the first five rounds is just going to be uh, Bandit with a Glue Gunner and Drex with a Dartling Gunner. Uh, I will send my money to Drex so that he can get a Dartling Gunner. There we go. Okay, now we start this. Oh yeah, uh, make sure you have auto start off because every five rounds we have to actually do the spinner again. Again, make sure you have auto start turned off. Because someone has it turned on. Uh, hopefully it's not Blink who has left. Yep, someone still has it turned on. Okay. Uh, Blink, make sure you have auto start turned off. So someone has auto start turned on. Who has auto start turned on? Turn it off, please. Okay, sorry, Bandit. Uh, Good this. Make sure it's off. There we go. Thank you. Okay, that's a bit farther. I'm uh, gonna spin it again. Starting off with Blank, who has landed Adora. So that's another five rounds of doing nothing. Well, so only to round 16. Our next one, Bandit got a sniper monkey. The bandit got this one. No, we did do six. Uh, the game started on round six. Uh, next one, Drex got a super monkey. And then lastly will be mine. Which I got a wizard monkey. I have to save up a hundred for that. Yeah, uh, Drex, you can't buy anything until you get the 3,000 save for a super monkey. And, uh, Bandit has to place down a sniper as soon as he has 260. Which he has already, so he has to place down the sniper.
it now. You have to put down the sniper as soon as the spinner gets it and you can afford it. Yeah, you have to place it. That's what the issue is with this. It forces us early game to usually have too many towers and not able to upgrade them and then late game it's honestly easy. Here we go. Now I can place mine. After the end of this round it's the next spin as well. Uh, we're not allowed to sell any towers whatsoever. At the end of round 15, so let's start at 16, so another spin. Uh, you're allowed to upgrade your towers freely as long as you don't have a, a tower that you have to purchase still. Okay, Blank, you got Tack Shooter. Okay, now doing Bandit. Bandit, you got the banana farm. The most important tower for this challenge. Next one for Drex. Drex got ETN, which is a skip for him since he doesn't have that hero. Uh, Bandit cannot upgrade uh, any of his towers until he gets the banana farm though. But he can change the target. Once you have it, or once you have all your towers placed, then you can change it. Okay, and I got Oban, which is not my hero, so I have another skip for me. That means I just can upgrade uh, Dumbledore here. Right now, we're just waiting for Bandit to be able to afford a banana farm. Okay, Bandit, let's just finish. Okay, uh, just so you know. Blank, you're able to actually upgrade your attack shooter all you want. Right now. Because you don't have any additional towers waiting. You can also send money back and forth between other players. And right now, Bandit is not able to uh, upgrade any of his towers until he gets the ban banana farm down. Yeah, and Jux can't upgrade anything until he gets 3,000. We got the next spin, which means more towers. Blank has to get a monkey ace. Bandit has to get a ninja monkey after he gets the banana farm. Let me put this in chat actually. Okay, and uh, just had to put that in chat. Did I spin this already? This is Captain Churchill, so I believe I spun it. And let's spin it a second time because I don't know if I spun it or not. Uh, let's see what Drex gets. 
Owen Greenfoot, so that's skip for uh, Drex. And lastly, my tower, which is a boomerang monkey. Okay, so I have to place down a boomerang monkey. Yay. Okay, and let me put this in chat as well. Uh, Jax is doing... Super. Uh, since I have extra money, I'm going to send it to Bandit so he can actually get stuff down. And Jerks is one, uh, he can suffer waiting for 3,000. And we got the banana farm down finally. I'm gonna save up money for... what's it called? Well, at the end of this round is the next, uh, spin. Okay, here comes the next spin. Spinning for Blank. Blank got a sniper monkey. Bandit also got a sniper monkey. Jerk's got Psy, which I don't believe is his hero. And lastly, I'm getting a Monkey Ace. Let's do this. There we go. About to have leads. Great. I think one of the snipers can deal with that. Good. Here we go. Uh, before you continue. I have to say, once you cannot upgrade any of your towers until you get all of your towers placed. So for uh, Bandit, I know it's hard for you to understand this one. You have to get uh, the ninja and the sniper out before you can upgrade the farm. Okay. Let's see, is it starting round 30 or starting round 31? And uh, we'll hit it and then do the spin at the same time. Okay. So I'm going Blink's tower. Blink gets another attack shooter. Bandit gets a boomerang monkey. Let me write that down.
Okay, jot the type down for the next one. And then Drex gets... Azili, which is not your hero, once again. So Drex is waiting for Super Monkey. Oh, Drex is just waiting so he, so he can actually afford the Super Monkey. Okay, now spinning for mine. And I got myself a Dark Monkey. Which I can place down immediately. Okay, with that being said, let's just see how much money we have here. Uh, Bandit. Does not have enough for a sniper yet. Uh, uh, not sniper, uh, ninja, so. Great. Hopefully he have enough soon. Okay, he has a ninja down, so his next one is the sniper. It should be cheap. Okay, there's the sniper. Uh, for Bandit, right? Did Bandit get a sniper down? I believe he did. Uh, then that means the last one is for him the boomerang. There we go. Bandit is all cut up, finally. And Drex is still 500 away from placing his first down. Drex, did you land on anything besides uh, the sniper? Oh, not sniper, super. Uh, Blank got a door, so you get to skip five rounds and just save up for upgrading your towers. That's good news. He did not. Bandit uh, got Drowder, which is not your hero. So you get to skip five rounds and save up to uh, upgrade your towers as well. This is good news. Uh, there we go, upgrade. Uh, next one was Captain Churchill, once again, for Drex, so Drex doesn't have to purchase any extra, just get yourself a super monkey. And then, lastly, for me, I got a ninja monkey, so I have to place that down. I finally got camera section for the wizard. And we got a super monkey. Everyone's caught up finally. And just in time because this 
Super Monkey should give us enough popping power to deal with the Moab. Does someone have auto start on? There we go. We finished round 40, so we got the next set of spins. Spinning for blank. Blank got an ice monkey. Which I'm assuming he's going to put next to the two tack shooters. Next one, bandit. Got a monkey ace. Typing that into chat. Next one, Drex. <laughs> Has got another expensive one at the monkey village. Jerks does not get to go cheap. And I get to do a banana farm. Thank God. Okay, so let's see. I have to save up a banana farm. Drex needs to do village. Bandit needs to do monkey ace. And blanket. Oh, blank. Oh, it looks like blanket. I still have to get over that. It's blank. Blank already oh, got his one out. Blake has got ourselves a Operation Dodge Storm. Which is good for us. I got a farm down. And uh, there's a village. So everyone has all the Yeah, everyone has all their towers down now. At the end of this round, turn off auto start and you cannot purchase anything until spin. Okay, let's do the next spin again. Starting off with blank. Who has got the cheap little dot monkey? Nice and safe. Dot monkey for you. Next one we have Bandit. Who has gotten Quincy, which is not his hero, so you get to skip. Uh, next one. Is Trex? <laughs> Why is this happening? Uh, Trex has to spend another large amount of money on another village. And I landed on Quincy, which is not my hero, so I got another skip as well. 
I'll say this, uh, Blank, if you want to actually place the village exactly where you want it, you should probably send him money so he can actually just afford it immediately. That's the only way you'd get him to do it, probably. And he didn't. I'm saving up for a marketplace, hopefully. Thank you to whoever sent me money. Okay, here comes the next spins. Seems like I have a small amount of time, so I might as well get wall of fire. Like at first, I'll get that. Okay, starting off with the next spin. Well, blank. Uh, who has it on? Oh, blank got Psy, which is actually your hero. Blank, you actually got your hero. Uh, next one, Bandit. Bend, Bend you got Wizard Monkey. Bend you got right here. Actually, go and point to it as well. <sighs> okay, Trix has got a Druid. At least Drex got a cheap one for once. And I got myself another Dart Monkey. Which I'll place down immediately. Just getting them down. Okay, so we have that place down. Right now the only thing is... Okay, so there's a wizard. Yep, everything's placed down. We're all cut off so we can just focus on upgrades. I got myself Shimmer. So we're going to be removing the camo properties. At the end of this round, we're going to do another spin. Okay, spinning for blank. Blank has got a banana farm, so he can start earning money as well. Bandit got Gerardo, which is another skip. Talking down in chat. Uh, next one is Drex. Who also got Gerardo. So another skip. And then lastly for me. I got a sniper monkey. Wait, let's see. What does this one do? Okay. 
gain some camo tech for free. No, once you... Oh, you only get the one talent each time. I would have placed a bunch of bombs if I could then, but can't. Okay, next spin. Blink has got an ice monkey, once again. Another ice monkey. Bandit got an alchemist. Pointing it out. Jerk's got another skip. And I got an ice monkey as well. I think we're actually good for around 63 with this setup. Who's the best my bandit? Where's bandit going for? Okay, so Bandit's going for Supply Drop. Then 2,000 to Bandit so you can get Supply Drop first. So we should just get more money. Okay, let's go again. I want to see more yellows. Okay, Blink got another attack shooter. One after another after another, you're getting all the attack shooters. <sighs> Bandit got another skip. You can focus on ice uh, for upgrades. Jerk's got an engineer. And 
and I got a nice little skippy. I got to skip it as well. Thank you. I feel like what we need the most right now at the Forest Towers is probably we upgrade to Prince of Darkness, we upgrade this to Monkey Intelligence Bureau, and we go for a, a attack zone here in the dead center. Maybe do this one, Monkey Intelligence Bureau, so that all three these get the free popping power. Let's see, first one. That's Sasada, which is a skip. You already got your hero. Bandit got a bomb shooter. Right here. Uh, Jax got a monkey village. And I got another boomerang monkey. To toss over to the side. Well, Jerry keeps on getting them because he's the one that had to wait a long time with the uh, uh, super monkey. That's why he gets all the good towers. Uh, Bandit got an alchemist, uh, like, four spins ago. Yep. Heck, I probably wouldn't have noticed either unless I was reading off the towns. I want to get this before the end of time. Nope, nope round ended, can't buy it. Okay, let's see what Blank's one is. Uh, Blank already got Psy, so that's a skip. Okay. Bandit just got a monkey ace right here. And he got a monkey ace, another plane. Drex got a door again, so that's another skip for Drex.
And I got a Dotling Gunner. Okay, uh, now that your message has popped in, uh... Sorry. You sent me exact amount for Elite Sniper when I'm looking at it. And then the messages pop up afterwards. Uh... Yeah, chat delay on that. I'm, I'm blaming chat delay on that. Well, I'll be saving up for Prince of Darkness then. That was not what I should have done there. We cannot do any tech bots because that counts as a power. I wish tech bots would make this so much uh, more pleasant in my eyes. At least I'm back up to 10,000 neatly. Oh, 18. Okay, now time to spend on the boomerang. Okay, next spin. Blink has just got another tack shooter. Bandit has gotten another sniper. Gonna just keep on going over it just to make sure you know which one I'm talking about. Do, uh, do not send me money until you actually buy your tower. Yeah, okay, he got his tower. Next one is Trex. Who gets another Dartling Gunner. I'm just gonna have like a line of them here. And I have to pick up an engineer. I'll just drop the engineer off here. Okay. And I've created for Prince of Darkness. You know, very, very tempted to go for a boomerang monkey. I feel like this one is actually more hectic than usual. Okay, someone's requesting money, so I'll send money to them. Ben is requesting it, so here you go. Let's see, as far as which tower we should go for next. 
We can go for Sky Shredder at 43,000. We can go for Attack Zone at way less than that. Uh, we can go for more of Eliminator for 30,000 if I'm remembering correctly. I feel like those are the best options we have. Okay, another set of spinning. First off was Blink. Blink got another skip. Uh, next one for... Bandit. Bandit just got a Super Monkey. Just gonna go ahead and roll them curse over a bunch. There we go. Uh, next one, Drix got a skip because he doesn't have open Greenfoot. And last one for me. Hey, I got a monkey village. That's nice. I'll place it over here. Let's see. Tax zone is 24,000. I will send money to like who owns it? Player two. So that's uh blank. Actually, before doing that, should upgrade uh the monkey intelligence bureau. Uh so that you can actually deal with leads as well. So you can deal with stuff. Drex, I'm sending this to you so that you can upgrade to a MIB. Upgrade your Hogwarts, please. Upgrade that, and now next I'm going to be sending all the money to... Uh... Blank for the Overdrive. Or not Overdrive, the Tax Zone. Auto start on. Turn off auto start, please. I'm spinning for blank. Uh, blank got path putsy, which means it's a skip for blank. Next one, we have bandit. Bandit got open green foot, which is another skip for Bandit. He doesn't have to buy anything. Uh, next one is Drex, who also got open green foot, so next skip again. And then lastly, I got a door, so everyone skips. Let's see who is the bomb shooter. Let's play a three.
Okay. Uh, let's do the next spin. No, I sent... Uh, I sent uh, Bandit the money to get the bomb shooter so that we can deal with the BAD more. We need more power against the BAD, not the DDTs. DDTs are fine. Okay, uh, first off, yep, you got a ninja monkey. Next one. Bandit, get a skip, so no quick or no more tower for you. That's another skip for Drex. And lastly, that's a skip for me. Which means that is all of our towers for this game. I do not believe it works against the bat. I don't think any debuffs actually works against the bat in general. Either way, I'm just sending money to Bandit since he has the bomb shooter. Hopefully he can get it. No, we, s we don't spin F100, we have to beat this with that last one. I believe we got this. Easy enough. Yeah, never unlocked his early. Hey, I got a zero 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 wizard monkey. Okay, just seeing how it ends up. I got most pops of ceramics apparently. Blank got the most DDTs popped. Bandit got the most Rego balloons popped, and Drex apparently uh, was nothing special. Uh, yeah, I'm fine with one more. This will be the last game. Last game will be one last random tower challenge. Oh, Drix got a 020 spike factory. That's actually good. Hell, any spike factory is good. Drex, you're heading out, so see ya. I'm gonna grab myself a soda. It'll take like 10 seconds. Then we can start this.
Again, Trix, thanks for playing with us tonight. Let's first do a spin for the map. Got the spinner up. Here's the maps. Uh, we're gonna do this until it has a decent... Adora's Temple is not a decent one in my opinion. Doing this until we get it easy. Lotus Island, okay that's fine. Okay, and now to do heroes. Uh, I will do Blank's one first. Blank, your hero is... Benjamin. Blank up Benjamin. Next one is Bandit. Bandit got Striker Jones. In case you don't see it on this one, it's this guy. Bandit, are you there? Okay, waiting for... Okay, Bandit got that updated. Good. And now to do mine. My hero this time... Ah, why? Okay, I got Admiral Brickle. Let's get this started. You all know the rules. We're continuing to 100, though. Uh, let's start off with Bandit. Bandit gets to start off with Banana Farm. Bandit got it. I don't know why Bandit sent me money. Uh, next one, we'll be doing... Blank. Blank up Benjamin. Which... Blank, that's your hero, right? Yes, you got your hero first try. Blank guy's hero. And now mine is... Hey, guess what? We lost!
We got no attacking towers. Unless we have... Unless we can actually survive to the first five waves. Let's see if we can survive to the first five waves. Yep. And during this entire time, everyone just send your money to Bandit so we can get more money. Again, no use of power, so we can't do anything to stop this right now. That is not cool. Oh, it actually does look like we can afford to tank here. Who put out Striker Jones? We have to restart. Target. Yeah, just listen. Yep. I think I'll spin the first round again because I don't I don't know. Do we do that? I just been lying to buy it. Will we actually survive this? That is actually the question. That is oh, we have to beat round 1 to 5 without anything, essentially. Why did I send it to you? Uh, we're supposed to send it to Bandit. That is this is going to be... Cool. We start off an easy and then we're going to have to do it with no lives a century. Turning off auto start. 
save your money so that we can actually buy towers now. But we need an attacking tower, and we if we can't afford it, we are dead. Okay. We need at least one of us to get a cheap attacking tower. Starting off with blank. Got your auto, so it's a skip for you. Next one, we're doing Bandit. Who has a wizard monkey? Bandit got wizard monkey. And the next spin for me. Is a druid. Which is here. So Bandit. Wait, which one's better, wizard or druid? Oh, cross money. No, no, no issue. You place it, that's good. Just send me whatever money you have left. Thank you. The second we can get you at the back. We're gonna be placing towards the back. There we go. We're gonna be getting a middle path, of course. Okay, now we actually have a chance again. I'll do this. I'll wait on Druid of the Jungle for a bit since we need to save up for our next towers. You send me enough for that. Set it to target strong there. Great. Gotta do next spin. Blank, you got a monkey sub. Please. Okay, uh, next one. I can mark this up. Why is it going forward? Uh, Bandit, you gotta skip. And I got a Dartling Gunner for me.
Uh, sometimes I hate that my roommates just come in. Don't knock, just come into and be like, okay, it's time to distract them. Okay, we finished round 15, so spinning again. First off, Blank's Tower is ETN, which I do not believe is your hero. Yeah, it's not. Oh yeah, your hero's already down. So that's a skip for you. Next one. Bandit just got the attack shooter. Just gonna keep circling for a small bit. And then next one for me. Is Azili, which is a skip. So let's get this going. I'm gonna get myself some camo detection just in case. I have seen camos get by that before. It is very useful, it is very powerful, but sometimes camos can. Wait, what the upgrade did you get this? Why? Why did you do heat tip darts with it? Now I'm actually sad. Wait, we're supposed to get another spin, right? Hey Hamish, how are you doing today? Let's see, we're Captain Churchill, which is a skip. Uh, for Bandit, we have a Sniper Monkey. So Bandit, you got... yeah. Bandit got a Sniper Monkey. Eh, I tried to end it. End up getting distracted. Uh, is it round 25 or is it round 26 that we're heading into? Okay, so that means another spin. Great. Okay. There we go. A door. That's a skip. Because no one has a door. Bandit got... Pat Fussy, which... That is a skip as well. And... I got a Monkey Ace. Just 645, so I'll get that soon.
Okay. Yeah. Okay. Blank, you got a monkey buccaneer. There you go, you have a way to earn money as well if you go for that. Could be popping power, could be monkey. Uh, Bandit, got a sub. Sure, we can play uh, one more game after this. But that will be the actual final game. Because I'm missing things constantly now. I'm actually that tired. That I'm just ignoring what time the ship's doing this. But yeah, no. How much we're gonna do a game? Yes, you can play. Okay. I need to end the stream soon. There's no question on that. Well, it's hot. It's hard water. What do you think ice is? It's hard water. Okay, someone continued, so I'll just get this spinning. Uh, Blank, you got another skip for you. Bandit, you got yourself a super monkey. And I got myself another druid. Uh, this one is easily going to be a quick game because this one right now is just a 40 so I put on easy uh, Oh, yeah, I should also say uh, thank you for the follow bandit 98 and thank you for the follow magical deox TTV We'll do an actual full-length game uh, as the ending game There we go. And now to set up the actual last game. This one's gonna be hard. Impossible. Here it is, last game.
Okay, we have the full team in. I'll say this. Uh, pick whichever hero you want. We're not gonna do random hero. Oh no, I just picked Spice because let's have it a bit more difficult. This is the last one, it's gonna be more difficult. It's the final challenge. Okay, you guys got your heroes picked? Uh, the last one is still gonna be uh, impossible, still gonna be random tower challenge. The reason why I'm doing that is because if you're gonna end it off, you end it off with hard one. Okay, I'm assuming you guys are doing those. No, we cannot use powers, so... So this is gonna be a bit more difficult than the others. Uh, ice monkeys are actually gonna be very useful for us if we can get them. Wait, now they think about it. It's time. Just saying that again. I'll be starting this in 30 seconds. Twenty seconds. Oh, ten seconds. Okay, and here we go. Okay, starting this up. This is, once again, a random tower challenge. We're going to start off the first spin for Hamish. Nope, you're first. Hamish, you're first this time. Hamish, you must get a Dartling Gunner. Uh, luckily, that's only 630. Bandit. Uh, has a skip. Exactly, if we run out of space, then we run out of space. Uh, Blink, you just got a heli pilot. Why was he completely removed? Okay. Uh, Blink, you got a Hella Pilot. And I got a Monkey Ace.
Well, I can place mine. Uh, send money to, uh, blank. There we go. So if we run out of space on land, and then we hit another land tower, essentially that becomes an unplaceable tower like the other heroes that we don't have access to. And they all become skips. So we better hope that the towers we do land on are good for us. Also we better hope that when we actually clear this area, that the towers afterwards are useful. So we should keep this uh, not cleared for a while. Ready to spin for a bandit? Spinning for bandit. And bandit got a alchemist. Hopefully he places that at the very front and does a uh, bottom path alchemist so we can get extra money That's what we need of it. Yep, looks like he zoomed out uh, Next one uh, Blank Got Captain Churchill Which I don't believe that's yours. I believe you have Benjamin so that's a skip And then mine is a helipod as well. Which that means 1,825 I have to save up. That's going to take a while. Now that there's enough space for it right here, uh, when I have the money to pay for it, I can place there. Unless someone else places a tower there before me. And also, uh, if you use the middle path ice towers, you can get a lot of extra space in here. Just want to mention that part. If we get ice towers, you know exactly what you have to do with them. That's spinning. Let's see what Bandit gets. Bandit got a sniper monkey. I was so hoping that was the monkey sub. That would have been very good for us. Alright. Uh, Blake. You just got an ice monkey. Blank, get an ice monkey. 
Be very particular about where you place it. You up for the ice monkey. Okay. And last one. I got Oban Greenfoot, which I don't have, so it's a skip for me. Ah, uh, yes, I placed uh, uh, the airplane. Uh, unseen norm. Yep. I placed it there uh, because I couldn't place it here. There's a helipod already. And placing it here just seemed like it would take up too much space. If you place it here and got it upgraded to the middle path, it would give this entire area uh, for a helipilot. Okay, that's around 20. Let's see right now. Bandit's not here, so this is yours. You got a monkey village. Jesus Christ, that's expensive. And I got... A dot monkey. Great. So I have helipod dot monkey. So it's a question of who... Yeah. It's a question of whether or not you get the monkey village first and place it down here, or I get the helipod first and place it here. Because we can't even clear obstacles until we place our tower. So one of us has to place it down there. Just a question of who will be able to afford it first. Exactly. And hey, uh, thanks to that, that means I can skip that and just go directly. Uh, now my helipod is unplaceable. So I can skip that and get a dot monkey somewhere. Uh, let's just place you along here. Can I fit you there? Oh. Need to place down my dot monkey somewhere. There we go. And now to do the next two spins. I'm actually caught up now thanks to that. You got yourself a tax shooter. For 335. Cheap. Could pair it up right here very well. And I got a super monkey. Which is not placeable yet, so yay, I gotta skip. So let's just tack shooter right now. Let's see, what do I want to do for this? The super monkey? No, I can't. I've, uh, I couldn't even uh, fit the uh, dot monkey anywhere except for this bottom corner. So I cannot fit the super monkey there yet. Again, that's why I want to keep this thing blocked off for a while. So that we don't have to buy too many expensive things early on. 
Bigger drums. Does that reach here? I can reach that one. Uh, I think I'll go with... I think we're going to go with never miss targeting here. Okay, next spin. Next spin, you got a ninja monkey. Which we have spots to fit that still, so that's okay. And I got another dark monkey. So you have to place a ninja monkey, you have to place a dark monkey. Yeah, this can't fit anywhere on the 3 to 1. There's room right here underneath the hell pile for a ninja or... Uh, let's see. Yeah. Ninja can fit here. Also, can it fit over here? No, it cannot. But this guy can. Right? Wait, wait. Nope, we're going over here. We can get a better tower there. There we go. I think we should try to place something else within this range because boost is going to be more important there than for these guys. to save up money and get something upgraded soon because we don't have stuff to deal with tomorrow up yet that's for sure comes on round 40. So let's do the spin. Ah, uh, you got Engineer Monkey. That could be useful, but also I don't feel like it is. Either way, you got the Engineer Monkey. Place it wherever you want. And... Oh! There is no reroll. And I got a wizard monkey. Yeah. Uh, no space is equal to a skip, not a reroll. Any? Yeah, can't fit there. There. I'm trying just to, just in case. Nope. Can't fit that so that we got skips. So we're just saving up to upgrade our current stuff. So. I think this is long enough that we can now disconnect him.
Okay, for the uh, ice monkey, when you eventually upgrade it, I would suggest a three or a zero three one. Uh, I would probably suggest the sticky, yeah. Uh, over, I think bottom path is better than top path for Ninja Monkey and all I see. Okay, I don't. You should probably have Pursuit on just for extra damage. Oh, the pineapple did good. Let's get your tower. Which is Striker Jones, which we can't fit anywhere. We already know that. And then my tower. Which is Sada, which we can't fit anywhere. So that's a skip as well. But right now, we cannot fit anything until we actually land for a water tower we open up this island or the uh, ice monkey gets upgraded middle path only those options are when we can do it yeah we can remove this whenever we want but we should probably wait and just focus on upgrading these before we get too many towers and fill this up I think probably the thing we should go for, uh, you should probably do Razor Rotors, uh, a 320. Should probably do that. First. And then upgrade the ice. How much money do you have? Okay, no. Nowhere near enough yet for Apache, so. Yeah, probably ice or attack shooter next. Uh, I really hope one of us lands on a monkey sub or a monkey buccaneer. Or if I can get Pat Fuzzy, that'd be nice as well. See what's yours? Nope. Let's spin it for you. Oh, I didn't realize that Alchemist was mine. Okay, you got a sniper monkey. Uh, can you fit the sniper monkey up here? I don't think so, though. Actually, let me check. Yeah, sniper monkey can't fit. And I got a attack shooter. Can I fit that anywhere? No, it cannot. Okay, so that means it's a skip again. I didn't realize this alchemist was mine. Oh, it wasn't mine initially, it was sent to me.
Honestly, camo does not seem like a good idea for the village, considering most of the towers within its range. Uh, let's see, this one has camo, these two have camo, so I will have camo. This one has camo, it's just literally this one and one only that won't have camo. So I don't think it's a good idea to give it camo. Oh, if you want it for the overdrive, then yes. But if you're doing it for the overdrive, then you'd be going uh, all the way for a uh, 2 three, zero for the village. So it can also pop lead as well. Okay, let's do the next spin, and let's see if we can get water towers. Hey, You got a monkey sub! There we go, we got the first water tower. Blank got a monkey sub. And I got a dog monkey, so that's a skip for me again. ADP, which one is that? Oh, okay. Honestly, don't. You can pick whichever version of sub you want. There's a lot of good options. I do want to get Spectre probably in the future, but that's going to be expensive. We need boats mainly, that's the main thing we need. Soon, soon I'll buy that. They do not need to glow or buff the glue gunner in the slightest. All they need to do is just make a glue gunner paragon because all the paths for glue gunners are very powerful. Okay, you got a monkey ace which is way too big for any spot we have, which is no spots. I got a boomerang monkey that can't fit yet as well. So that skips for us. A paragon? This guy. Or other than known as a tier 6. Yours was a monkey ace. Too big for you to place. 
Also... Get yourself Apache Dodge Ship or Tax Zone, your choice, whichever. In all honesty, yes, the Sniper Monkey is worth upgrading. It would be one of a few ways of earning cash if we do middle path. If we do bottom path, it would be great to have a 205. A huge amount of popping power. To be, just it, in general, it's good. Okay, that's round 60, so another spins. You get... A spike factory, which is too big, so it's a skip for you. And I got a super monkey, which is too big for a skip for me. Yeah, money isn't a problem yet. Right now, we're getting enough money thanks to Midas and the fact that you get pretty much double money all the time anyway. You can do 205 sniper and just put it on strong or put it on first either or. Doesn't matter too much. Spice Island is turning out to be much easier than expected. I know it just jinxed it and that now because of that we're going to probably lose horribly very soon. But yeah, this is turning out much better. I jinxed it, but yeah. Because if you don't jinx things, then it's not fun. You gotta jinx it. Okay, next set of spins. Admiral Brickle, which is my here. Oh, no, no, not my here, so. That's a skip. And then that one's too big as well. Another skip. Okay, I want to get a Spectre. You know what I'm see. That would give us a lot of popping power. 28,000 though, so that would require all our money plus more. You think that's a good idea? I think. Either we either go for Spectre next, or we go for Taxo. I say I save up for Spectre, you save up for Taxo. We just continue like that for now. As far as popping power goes, I feel like we have enough with the Apache Dodge ship right now. 
But that's just for now. Uh, we might not have enough soon. Okay, next spin. Can we please get a boat? Mortar monkey, too big. That's another skip. Sigh. I don't have Sigh. Exactly. Yeah. We just have a ice monkey sitting there that can eventually expand our land. Same thing with this. The thing is, we don't exactly want any extra towers yet. The reason why we're doing so good is because we're actually being able to upgrade all these instead of buying a bunch of extras. So I feel like very soon we're going to need to actually get uh, more. I say expand after tax zone, but... Once you get tax zone, the next thing I say would actually be monkey intelligence bureau so that this guy, your tax zone, can actually pop the DDTs as well. That's very important. And yes, ice. There we go, Taxo. I'm saving up 11,000 more for Spectre. Your next thing would be... Uh, MIB. Uh, and then... Probably Ice and then Lead Defender. I think. And again, ice would be a uh, zero three one. Well, the thing is, Ice Monkey doesn't even seem like it freezes the water at all uh, until you actually place something on the water that's supposed to be frozen, then the ice actually appears. Come on, Taxone, do your job. Okay, good. Taxone does its job well. Uh, were we supposed to spin there? I believe we were. Let me just do it now. You got Drado, which is a skip. Yeah, no one got Drado. And I got Sardis, which is a skip. So we can continue. I'm really looking forward to getting Spectre at this point. Okay, you got MIB. Good. Yeah, attack zone is extremely overpowered there.
It's your choice whether you go for ice, giving us the chance to get more towers finally, or if you go for a sniper, just to get a bit more popping power. Not camo, popping power, just general popping power. And my upgrade still costs 2,000 more. Once I can afford it, I'll get it. Okay, you can go get the sniper then. There we go. Ah, it's very nice to actually get Spectre. Oh, we're supposed to do another spin. So I'll just do that now. Hey, you got Monkey Village, so that's another skip. And... I got Quincy, which is another skip. Okay. Uh, with this now, we actually can place towers again. So, might as well get this as well. Well, we don't get a wee spin. We did spin for 81, we just spun one, oh we, yeah we did, we did spin on 80, uh, I got a Quincy and you got a Monkey Village, but at that time neither of us had any extra land to place them on, so it didn't matter, you got a Monkey Village, which doesn't matter because you had to get a purchase afterwards. So, can't place any towers yet. Uh... Well, actually the Ice Monkey's range... Uh, when you upgrade to Snowstorm, it increases by a large amount. When you upgrade it, uh, one past that to tier 5, it increases by more again. But actually, we'll go all the way out here a bit. Okay, after this round, we're actually going to get new towers. And how much do we have to save? We're going to get new towers and we're going to have about 35,000, if not more, ready to immediately boost it. So let's see what towers we get. Starting off with you. Hey, you got a sniper monkey, which thanks to this, you can probably place over here. Uh, so it's not taking up any important area. Let's see what I get. I get nothing. I still can't place anything yet. Now into round 90. The Apache dot tip is 54. Yeah, why not? I'll just send you my money now.
I wonder what other towers we're actually going to get now. Hopefully we both don't get more dark monkeys. I already have three. Here comes the DDTs. There we go. Nope, we need a spin. Go place down a helipilot. Blank gets a helipilot. Which we have more than enough room for. And I get nothing again. There we go, we got Apache Prime. Okay, more shop should be useful. Uh, are you within range to get cow detection? Nope. I hope I actually get the chance to place another tower. I want to. The DDTs did get, but well, are still getting far. I don't like it. I know that they are getting pretty much just to the point that they get immediately popped by uh, our attack zone. But it still isn't pleasant. I do not want a glue gunner. We spin after 95 finishes, so after we have the huge rush of DDTs, it's when we spin. Please be popped, please for me. Ah. Is they getting popped? They're getting popped? Come on. Okay, they got popped. Good. We've I've actually done this game or this challenge before on chimps. Definitely nice. Uh you got an alchemist. And I actually got another talent. And I don't get to use a silent at all. A monkey sub. Uh, can you place down an alchemist? Okay. There we go. I'm gonna go for first strike capability. I don't think we're going to get enough money to go for tier 5, but tier 4 at least. Okay, that was our last tower, so I'll turn off the spinner. Okay, first strike capabilities. We very much can lose on round 100 still. So. We 
we need to be able to pop the BAD before it gets to the attack zone. Because if it gets past the, if it gets past the attack zone and then gets popped, then the DDTs will get by immediately. This is it. And some tap this, might as well. Ah, oh, there we go, we beat it. We beat it. This is it. The A11. I see Spice Iron seemed like it was going to be way more difficult now. Uh, probably would have been if we didn't uh, lose players, so. though. Okay, and Blank got a 022 mortar. Okay, this... This has been long enough. Way too long. I need to go to sleep, so... I'm gonna say this. Thank you... Blank for playing. Uh, thank you... Unseen Norm for watching and talking to us in chat. And, uh, I'll say this again. Thank you, uh, Chase, Unseen Norm, Batfish Y, Bandit98, and Natural Deox TTV for following during this stream. I am done for today and for yesterday because I've been up for almost 48 hours I do not have a discord yet so I will or when I do get a dis or I do have a personal discord I do not have a discord set up for this streaming yet I will be setting that up uh, sometime soon uh, but once I have that set up I will let everyone know uh, The way that you say that, I'd be, I'd be good mod, yes. I feel like you, I feel like you just like, hunched over, twitting your fingers together like, yes, yes, I'd be good mod, yes. They won't notice that I go ahead and uh, see, I see all the money and uh, send the, send the legal memes. Uh, I probably will stream tomorrow, but okay, this, I'm getting sidetracked. I have no idea who will get mods or what. I have no knowledge of this. I have no plans. I just know I'm going to be making a Discord server. What? Waiting? Loading, loading. Uh, you know, I'm just going to do the outro for the YouTube video so I can just stop that recording. Okay, I'll take a screenshot of those so they don't disappear when I actually end this thing. I'll have those saved when I actually make the Discord. There we go. Ah, okay, now that I have those saved, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for playing with us during the stream. Uh, to those that are watching on YouTube, hope you enjoyed. And with all that being said, thank you for watching. And until next time, see ya.